Welcome to Anchet Guanas. We are about to embark on an adventure. The Gowanus Canal is a super fun site. It's in the heart of Brooklyn. It was dredged in the 1860s, and um, it was a polluted, fetid, nasty body of water from the beginning. There were three manufactured gas plants that stood on the banks of the canal and operated up into the mid 20th century. They dumped tremendous volumes of coal tar in the Gowanus Canal. In addition to that, um, every time it rains, the city's sewer system overflows into the canal, and about 377 million gallons of sewage and stormwater are released into it every year. We're going in to sample the Gowanus Canal and do what's called a microbiome analysis. A microbiome analysis is a comprehensive catalog of all of the microorganisms uh, living within a sample. My microbe catchers. And the Gowanus Canal is a very, very interesting environment because it's a Superfund site. Superfund program is administered by the Environmental Protection Agency. It allows the agency to come in and identify a site as posing a threat to human and environmental health and implement a cleanup. Before the whole area is disturbed, dredged, and wiped clean, we're trying to find out what types of things are living in this horrible environment and what can we learn from them. Unlike previous studies of the Gowanus Canal that looked at water, we're going to be looking at dredge material, material that's on the bottom of the canal, which is slated to be dredged in approximately two years. And so this material will be removed, and with that removal will be a whole ecology that is developed over about a century of microbial adaptation. You'll just feel it hit the bottom. They close and you haul it up and you've got a nice intact sample of sediment to open back up and pop into a bucket and get a biological sample from. By sampling and analyzing what lives in the Gowanus Canal, we'll be able to provide information to the community around here about what exactly it is that's living here. And we hope to find some very interesting extremophiles there, bacteria and other organisms that live where things normally don't live and might have very interesting biological properties. Oh yeah, that's a nice crab. Okay. There are many, many urban legends about what caused it to be this way, what goes on in the Gowanus Canal. We hope to put some of those to rest, and we also hope to discover some new and interesting stories which we can share with the community here. We're trying to get samples, some from areas that are exposed to the sunlight, some in areas that might never see the sunlight, like this area directly under this bridge. And that way, we hope to get the largest spectrum of different types of, of organisms. 